Hello everyone and welcome to an exciting journey back in time. I'm your guide Morale, and together, we'll explore the extraordinary story of Homo sapiens. That's you and me. Our adventure takes us back millions of years, to the very beginning of our lineage. Picture a world teeming with life, yet strikingly different from what we know today. It was here that the first primates, our distant ancestors, made their home. Over time, these early creatures evolved, their bodies and minds transforming to suit their environment better. This was the dawn of a journey that would eventually result in us, modern humans. Our story is one of survival, adaptation, and innovation, a testament to the resilience and ingenuity of our species. So buckle up, history buffs and science enthusiasts, as we dive into the fascinating world of our ancestors. Now imagine a time when our ancestors started to walk upright. This is where our first stop in our journey begins with Sahelanthropus chadensis. Around seven million years ago, an early hominin named Sahelanthropus chadensis roamed the Earth. These beings were fascinating because they exhibited a trait that would become a hallmark of our species, bipedalism, the ability to walk on two legs. This was a big deal because it meant our ancestors could start using their hands for other tasks, but here's the catch. There's still an ongoing debate among scientists about where exactly Sahelanthropus T. chidensis fits in our evolutionary tree. Next, we move forward to about 4 million years ago, where we meet Australopithecus afarensis. This species, like its predecessor, walked upright but with a larger brain size. This hominin, famously represented by Lucy, might have even started using tools they were versatile, adapting to different environments from forests to grasslands. Fast forward to roughly 2 million years ago, we encounter Homo habilis, the first of our genus Homo. With an even larger brain, Homo habilis were likely the first toolmakers, crafting stone tools that were used for various tasks, possibly even hunting. These early hominins were indeed resourceful and innovative. As we journey through time, it's important to remember that these hominins were not identical to us but they shared traits that would become defining characteristics of our species. They walked on two legs, began using tools, and had larger brains compared to their predecessors. However, these are not just dry facts from the distant past. They are threads in the tapestry of our shared history, a narrative that has been woven over millions of years. And these early upright apes, our ancestors, played a crucial role in that story. These early hominins laid the groundwork for the rise of the Homo genus, leading to some of the most significant developments in our evolutionary history. As we move forward in time, we encounter Homo erectus, Homo neanderthalensis, and finally, Homo sapiens, our direct ancestors. First up is Homo erectus, a species that lived nearly two million years ago. These early humans were real trailblazers, as they were the first of our ancestors to leave Africa, spreading across the globe. They were also quite brainy, with a brain size almost twice that of the earlier hominins. What's more, they were likely the first to harness the power of fire, a game-changer that allowed them to cook food and ward off predators. Their ability to adapt to diverse environments speaks volumes about their survival skills, doesn't it? Next. We meet our burly cousins, the Neanderthals, or Homo neanderthalensis. These robust beings were built for the cold, with a sturdy physique and a large nose to warm the frigid air before it entered their lungs. But don't let their rough exterior fool you. They were highly skilled toolmakers and might have even dabbled in art and symbolism. Their complex social structures suggest they could communicate effectively, laying the groundwork for the development of language. Finally, we arrive at Homo sapiens, that's us. We first appeared around 300,000 years ago. With our modern human anatomy and advanced cognitive abilities, we represent the pinnacle of human evolution. We developed complex language, art, and a rich symbolic culture that set us apart from other species. As we moved across the globe, we interacted with other human species, like the Neanderthals, and eventually became the last hominin standing. Our ancestors were truly remarkable, weren't they? But the story doesn't end there. Let's see how we, Homo sapiens, shaped the world to what it is today. Fast forward to today, and we find ourselves, Homo sapiens, 
all over the globe, shaping the world in incredible ways. We've come a long way from the early days of stone tools and bipedalism. Over time, our species has continuously evolved and adapted, leading to the diverse cultures and societies we see today. We've harnessed the power of fire, invented the wheel, explored the vastness of space, and even decoded our own genetic blueprint. In every corner of the world, we've built civilizations, developed languages, and created art. We've made scientific breakthroughs that have extended our lifespans and improved our quality of life. Our capacity for creativity and innovation seems limitless. But let's not forget, our journey is far from over. We're still evolving, still adapting. And who knows what the future holds? From our early bipedal ancestors to the diverse cultures we see today, our evolutionary journey is truly remarkable. As Homo sapiens, we continue to learn, adapt, and shape the world around us. Until our next adventure, keep exploring and stay curious.